Well, hello, friends. We've got something special for you tonight. Before our speaker comes tonight to tell us more about Jesus' meeting with the woman at the well, I wanted you to know I had a chance to speak with him in a Zoom interview. So, without further ado... Cheer for me. I'm the best. Whoa, whoa. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You know, seriously, though, you, you look a little bit nervous about this. I can't do this on my own. Well, that, that's that's not a problem because, you see, that's that's not how an interview works. I'm right here with you. Oh, well, hold on a second. Are you easily distracted? Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Let, that won't happen again. I let, Let's get right into the hard-hitting questions. First of all, what is your favorite snack cracker? Goldfish. Favorite animal to hit with your car? A bunny. Why do you suppose Gabe won't let us have cell phones here? He wants to steal the joy that God has given us. Right. But here's the deal. I see you using yours all the time. It's right here. Oh, I see you think you're above the law. So, if you don't have to listen to Gabe, where do you think your authority does come from? From Jesus. Fair enough. Okay, which TV show has the best acting you've ever seen? Wheel of Fortune. Um, that's a game show. There's usually no acting involved there. I thought I thought you might say something like Stranger Things. Is that a real show? <laughs> I've never heard of that one. That's interesting because it's a cultural phenomenon and everything, but never mind. I know you love The Office. Now, it's a well-known fact that John Krasinski is from Boston. So, with that in mind, what should Jim Halpert's nickname, what should it have been? Wicked Tuna. Cool. How about this? You and I both share the honor of being dads. Your son, Joel, the first time you had to change his diaper, what was your initial thought? I don't want this thing anymore. All right, let's stay in the realm of gross and stinky things, right? What's a more family-friendly way to describe flatulence? The happy gas? Ooh, that's good. Hey, you know, speaking of immature things, I was having a conversation with this little boy. In and many I ways, was... I am no different than that little boy. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, hold on. I haven't even described the kid yet. How would you... I can figure this out. No, you can't. Wouldn't it be nice if we could do that? E yeah, it, it, it would, but I kind of feel like I'm losing control of this interview now. All right, it sounds like you're talking about prophetic power. So in, in, in that vein, who is your favorite prophet from the Bible? I'll put myself at the front of that list. Let's move on. What were your initial thoughts when you heard Harry Styles' new album for the first time? My heart sank a little bit. Oh, really? Huh. Well, what's your least favorite thing about Harry Styles? He wants to kill us. Wow, I was unaware of that. You've heard this time and time again. Look, I'm, I'm not going to argue with you, so we're just going to move on here. Murder, gossip, false testimony, slander. Which of these is the worst? I've done all those things, okay? I better ignore that. Let's move on. So, when you participate in a Sunday morning worship gathering, do you... Sometimes we just call it church. <sighs> Never mind. Hey, I've heard that you have your entire back covered in a tattoo of a Striper logo. You want me to show you? No, 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 that's perfectly all right. I don't need to see it. I have one. I believe you. Stop trying to take control of this interview. You may need to go get some professional help. 